Normal ratios, or what are considered good ratios for sugar maples, are 40 to 1 sap to syrup. There's a lot of debate out there over whether or not you should toss your frozen sap or boil it down. So I'm just going to start saving the chunks of ice that are in my buckets in a separate stash of sap. Once I've got one of these buckets full, just of the ice sap, the frozen sap that apparently has no sugar, no value to it, I'm going to boil it down and see what we come up with. This is the frozen sap that we quite commonly get here. The nights still get pretty cold. This is what people throw out. So that's just all straight out of the sap buckets. A little bit of frozen stuff, a little bit of liquid. I actually ended up saving three five gallon pails of ice out of the sap buckets. The reason I did that was so that I would have a little more sap to work with rather than just having the one pail. So what I need to do now is just melt this down just on the propane stove here because I would like to get an accurate number of how much liquid sap this is going to be before I start to boil. I'm just filtering out the last little bit of the ice that I melted down so that we could get a proper measurement. We got about two buckets of melted ice out of the three buckets of ice. Now I know from previous experience up to this bottom rim edge here is 17 liters exactly. So I'm just going to measure out these first two at 17 liters. And I have a one liter mason jar. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. And a tiny bit. So we'll call that 37 liters between the two. The only thing left to do now is boil it down and see what we get. We have been averaging about 45 liters to one liter of syrup and that is with everything straight out of the bush. So I boil all my ice and everything together and that's kind of the ratio we've been at. So let's see what we come out with with 37 liters. We've reached the point that I am comfortable with taking this to in this big pot. This is a small amount of syrup. So I'm going to take it inside and finish it up. So is it worth it to save frozen sap? In my opinion, yes. Especially as a backyard producer, small scale, very small scale. Normal ratios, or what are considered good ratios for sugar maples, are 40 to 1 sap to syrup. 
we ended up with half a liter of syrup out of 37 liters of syrup of frozen sap. That's 74 to 1 sap to syrup ratio. So in my opinion, yes, it is worth saving your frozen sap. Don't throw it away.